hello long time no video sorry you know what i'm like by now i'm sure not consistent hoping to get back on it maybe one or two videos per month might be a better idea for me but i'm sure there'll be big breaks again coming in the future you're just gonna have to bear with me guys i'm here to film a video specifically for you guys giving an update however I might have got my car a little bit stuck. Oops, it's okay, the cavalry's on the way, later. Bye car! <laughs> I uh, considered just moving into the woods, but then I realized I have school runs and things. Children, huh? <laughs> Anywho, it'll be fine. I tried to get it out myself. I have a shovel and a rope and everything in my car. And if I'd have had another body here, someone to push while I was rocking the car, it, um, probably would have got it out but never mind in the meantime I will show you what I have been up to while uh, waiting for Thunderbirds to arrive <laughs> my rescue team this is the current state of the shelter I did have a roof on it I did do some filming of that going on, but because I never finished the roof, I never put enough struts across, whatever that might be called um, in technical building terms, because I never finished it. I didn't finish the video, um, but I did put a basic tarp across. Um, then we had winter, winter happened, and um, the shelter didn't, the tarp didn't make it through. It's currently sat under there and the shelter started to wobble we although it's still standing i'm currently filling these holes that we now have around the posts not oh thanks Faye. that's great <laughs> not all of them have it but i think four of the six did and i have been filling in what I've been doing is putting stones in the holes because I failed to do that in the beginning and that may have helped keep it more stable in the wind so I guess it's living archaeology really I can see why post holes were always found with stones in because I've just then filled the holes with stones so and if I'd put them in the first place I may not have got the problem so as you can probably see in the background there is a tent. <laughs> that is not the tent you saw on the last video. What I'm going to do is give you a little bit of a tour of how this camp's coming along. You will have to excuse things. It's rather messy, but that's just how things are at the moment. Oh, shush, Faye. Shush, shush. So I have lots of piles of wood. Yeah everywhere i have different woods cut down at different times and for different purposes i am keeping some as building materials the chestnut the straight chestnut i'm keeping as building materials so that's in one pile um, a lot of the birch will just be burnt because that can rot from the inside out so you wouldn't necessarily know that's rotting just by looking on the outside so i am keeping that for burning generally um 
it all needs to be processed some of it is for burning but it's only been seasoned for one year some of it's for burning and it's been seasoned for two and some of it's for burning and it's only just been cut this past winter we have created a little bit of a view let me show you that I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it up there but I don't think it's going to pick up on the camera unfortunately I've tried adjusting settings and things it's just not going to work but trust me there's a little bit of a view now we've opened it up a bit to create that view and that feeling that you're not quite so enclosed whereas other parts in the wood are more enclosed and that's how we're going to keep them um, a lot of this area needs to be opened up and we're going to plant some other species and things like that um, as you know because I have said in previous videos I'm going to increase the biodiversity here so that's the plan right tent I'll get back to that in a minute do you reckon I've still got my dog because you know what she's like <laughs> Could do without another another disaster to add to today <laughs> it's not a disaster it's kind of fun to be honest but here we go tent deck is happening at the moment it's just a builder's yard um, but there is a tent deck going in just over there and that will be for the bell tent. That is where I had the scout tent that appeared in my last video. That came down late autumn because obviously we want to look after it, didn't want it to be ruined over winter. And that's when I purchased the Arctic Bell. Oh, please don't judge me on how it's pitched right now. It has been up all winter and it was pitched better than this when I first pitched it. What's happened is the logs that I had on the skirt, the snow skirt, have um, are all now under the tent because the wind has got up and it's lifted and pulled it all out. I do plan on taking this down very, very soon. We also had the storm. The tent mostly survived the storm all the guy lines were in however we do have a small tear at the top just here where the wind got up underneath and blew it um, up off of its pole and then the fabric collapsed down and as it did that the pole tore a little hole in the seam it's just in the seam it's totally fine i can fix it um, this is not how i wanted to reveal this tent to you but in all honesty this is how it's been for a few weeks now because I am waiting to take it down, give it some TLC. Um, I need to seam seal it because it leaks and it has done since I first put it up. It all comes through the seams. Um, I camped in there for a few nights, about four nights I think when I first got it and on the fifth day um, it decided to rain. So I thought, well, that's really good. I'm going home today. Um, but what happens is when the wind gets up things that are inside the tent blow out of it my plan is to stop this from happening by building the same sort of tent deck that i have along here i'll show you properly now um where the arctic bell is but first this one is going to be finished. Now we have been working on this for a fair few weeks. Uh, a couple of months now maybe. Um, it's currently, oh what month are we in now? End of April. So yeah, a couple of months but on and off. Obviously can't always get here. Um, sort of, you know, one day a week generally. I'm here, um, not so much during the winter. It's a lot of work's gone into it, but it's looking quite messy now. It looked tidier before, but it's looking messier now because we've been um, removing some of the woods and filling gaps. Um, there's always, it's always going to be a little bit, um, I don't know, what shall I say? Hibbledy bibbledy. I'm pretty sure people will know what I mean if I say hibbledy bibbledy. <laughs> um, so this is where we are at with the woods, to be honest. It's what. Uh, the big 
big changes that have happened in base camp. Um, this land slopes down that way, so I've had to build it out there. No cement or concrete or anything has gone in. It is all just blocks, breeze blocks that have been placed on the floor and the odd bricks that we've managed to pick up. Um, and I've used a lot of flint. So to roughly level things, everything is very solid and secure. I'm happy with it all, but it's, uh, it's been a lot of work. It's all a work in progress. I'm hoping over the next few weeks, this will be sorted. I'll be getting the bell tent on there. When the bell tent is up there, everything that I currently have in there, um, which huh, I'd be a bit embarrassed about showing you because it spent the winter there. Um, and it's not been, it, it's not been looked after, but there we go. Um, everything I have in there will come out of there, get cleaned because it's all covered in mud because there's no floor in that tent and it will go into the bell tent and then come on gimbal go around go around go around go around go around lovely <laughs> then this one will come down have some TLC have its have its repairs done and the seam ceiling done and then um, I may or may not start work on a tent platform there I don't just want to do a tent platform there I also want to build a frame for this tent because as much as this tent um, looked a lot better when I first pitched it, it, it didn't look great then. It is the hardest tent I've ever pitched. And I know, um, oh, Bushwhacker Man has, has the same tent, but a lot of people in his comments will say, oh, you know, I would pitch it like this and I would pitch it like that. Please don't judge somebody's tent pitching abilities or think that they might be have, have, have been lazy while doing it when you see this tent pitched. I am quite, um, I can't say that word on camera, uh, a perfectionist <laughs> when it comes to pitching tents. And I don't want to see creases where there shouldn't be creases, but sometimes obviously it can't be avoided if the ground is lumpy bumpy and things like that. And I want the pegs in at exactly the right angle and things like that. Um, I'm also thinking back to when you saw me pitching the last tent, which I did wrong, so just don't judge me, okay? <laughs> anyway, this tent, well pitched, looks awful. I have decided to build a frame for it so that it can, it can sit across its frame. I have no idea how I'm going to do this yet. Um, but it'll all be nice and taut and the door will be lifted. Bear with me, watch this. that was a good demonstration of how ridiculous that door is it needs to be lifted and it doesn't matter how you pull the guy line how taut that is or how you pull pull that out with the guy it's just not high enough it's difficult to get in and out of that I want to rectify when I stayed in it I put a pole up through the middle and even though the pole was difficult to navigate round um, it was still better because I wasn't having to bend down so much to get in. So that's a bit of a bugbear. I'm going to fix that somehow, make some sort of a frame to hold that all up. Um, I think that tent would be fine if it was on perfectly flat ground. And that's not reality, <laughs> not here at least. So lots of stuff to do. It's all a bit of work in progress. I kind of wanted to show you just how things actually are as they stand right now. Tent's not looking great. I will sort it. When it goes back up next time, it should be better. Not sure how, but we'll wing it, won't we? Um, at the moment, my task is to get the shelter back under control, get that more um, secure. 
um, fix the roof to the point where I got before, although you didn't see me do that. Anywho, ah, it is beautiful here. It's so pretty. It's spring and the bluebells have just come out. Bluebells elsewhere in Kent seem to come out a lot earlier than they did in this wood. So I'm getting the sort of best of the beginnings of all of that now. So I'm going to show you some of the bluebells. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, so lovely here. I try not to walk down here too much because I don't want to wear a pathway. But the gully is just full of bluebells. It's stunning. Anyway, I'm very much aware that my battery is about to go because not only did I get my car stuck today, I found to charge my phone and I bought a battery pack that wasn't charged. So, ah, <sighs> another day in the life of Lissy. <laughs> Every time we're going to film. <sighs> never mind, never mind. Right, back up to camp. Um, if I don't, if I don't record any more footage, this is going to be a goodbye for me because I'm getting warnings on my phone that I'm running out of battery and I do need to make sure that the cavalry can contact me to sort my car out. So, yes, I will uh, I'll sign off for now and uh, there'll be another update coming soon because I do want to come back and film another proper video. Whee! Ground is soft. Um, film another proper video for you all. I will catch you guys later. Wish me luck getting my car out and uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take care. Bye. Rescue me, Sean. Yep, you're Beth. <laughs> That's right, isn't it, Beth? Come to rescue mummy. You come to rescue mummy, Beth. You come to rescue me. What happened to mummy's car? It got stuck in the mud. It got stuck in the mud. Is mummy very silly? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> You know what? I'll do that next time. That sounds like a really good idea. She's very sensible, I bet. Come out. Yeah. Right, I'm in neutral. Hand brakes off. Okay. I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Take up the slack. Take up the slack. Yeah, baby. Woo I think I'm out. <laughs> you need a man with a fault. I needed a fiesta to rescue me. <sighs> Dear me, my life. Right, Elizabeth is being camera lady, aren't you, Beth? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got the right. apple.